Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the Damira Band print in the Rose Ballerine interior. If you guys would like to see what I think about this purse after over a year of having it, then please keep watching. Alrighty, so first things first, this is how the purse looks. So it is in the Damira Band print. So that's how it looks. And also the Rose Ballerine interior. So I'm going to first talk about the pros of having this purse. There are many pros, honestly. Um, I love how big it is. It literally fits your entire life. And I love that it is really roomy and there is no zipper to the purse. So there's no actual zipper to close the purse, which I like because it's really easy access um, compared to like other purses that you have to always close and open the zipper. So that's one good thing because you can just reach in and grab anything you want. Um, I love that there's a big pocket, which is really convenient. You can fit a lot of things in here because there is a big pocket. Um, and I love the straps. So the straps are really sturdy and they're long. So I love that. It's just like a very, very good size purse. I forgot to mention, I do have the MM size. So yeah, I do have the MM size. So it's the medium size. And yeah, I just love the way it looks it's not too big not too small um and it fits everything perfectly next thing that i love that it comes with is this pochette it is so convenient because you get basically two things in or two things in one so yeah it's pretty much like a wallet so I'll show you on the inside again it's the rose ballerine interior and that's how it looks on the inside super super roomy i talked about this in one of my other videos the what's in my bag video i use this as my wallet um but yeah i love it i love how you can literally just leave your bag at home and go outside with this and it fits so much you can put your phone in here pretty much your whole life um i love that so all in all i think this purse has been holding itself for the year that i've had it for the over the year that i've had it um as you guys can see the wear and tear is really good like it still looks really mint um, considering that I've had it for almost two years now. Um, but yeah, so as you guys can see, there is a little bit of creasing on these handles, which is normal because it is leather. So when you wear it, it is prone to creasing. And along the trim here, you guys can see there is creasing, but it's not bad considering that I did have it for a little over two years. Um, you can see there and then on the other side as well. So yeah, as you guys can see, the bag itself is not really sturdy anymore. When I first got the purse, it was very sturdy. Um, so it has molded into its shape now because I have been wearing it. Um, but yeah, that's one good thing that I like about it. When I first got it, I didn't like that it was very stiff because I felt like it just felt like a box, honestly. Like it didn't feel like a purse. It felt like a legit box. But now that it's molded into its shape, it's a lot easier. And I think it just looks better. So I will also show you the gold hardware so the gold hardware has really kept itself as you guys can see the the color it looks good this looks good all in all it looks really good the zipper hasn't really like tarnished or anything it looks very mint um but yeah so i definitely love this purse i do not regret buying it um it is such a good purse and as you guys can see here the straps they look very nice very new again there is a little bit of creasing but that is normal about the cons now so there are a few cons of this purse that i would say the first con that i would say would be the rose ballerine interior as you guys can see it's pretty dirty like it smudges really really easily because the color is so light luckily though the interior is pretty easy to clean um you just take like a little towel or something and just wipe it with water and you're good usually majority of the time as you guys can see i have kind of stained at the bottom here i went to work one day and i spilled my water bottle in my purse and i had keys that had a black pom-pom on it and the pom-pom dye like literally ruined the interior of the purse so i had to like scrub it so you guys can see there's still a little bit of like 
dark pigment at the bottom here from the dye but I mean whatever it's it is what it is it looks still nice compared to what it looked like when it first happened and I freaked out um, here as you guys can see the little like thing here is leaving like a mark on the back of it so yeah it's very prone to getting dirty uh, the next thing that I would say is also what I said as a pro is that it doesn't have a zipper. So that is a pro and a con just because sometimes you don't want your bag to be open. So I live in Canada where it rains and snows like majority of the time of the year. So when it's snowing, I don't like the fact that snow can just like literally pile up in my purse and make it wet which is not good for the rose ballerine interior because it's very light and sensitive. So that's one thing I don't really like about this purse because, again, it doesn't have a zipper, but then I also do like it, like it because it does, doesn't have a zipper, so it's easy access, and I don't have to keep opening and closing the purse. So um, depending, I guess, where you live, like, that would depend. If you live somewhere where it's really sunny, you don't really have to worry about that, but if you live somewhere where the climate is really shitty all the time, then I feel like you would have to worry about that. Um, but what you can do is you can get the red interior instead of the rose ballerine, but I just love pink, so I had to get this interior, knowing that it would probably get stained easier, but it is what it is. I mean, it's not bad considering that I've worn this purse literally every day for um, almost two years, so it's not, not bad at all. Another con that I would say this purse has is the straps itself, because as you guys can see, when I put this purse like this the straps kind of just bend and i feel like that's what's causing this creasing as well which is not good so when i usually store it i usually try to store it flat down like this and i'll put it in the dust bag like this so the straps are not you know um hanging on the sides uh just because i feel like it's really bad for the straps as i said um and another thing that i would it's kind of annoying is when you store it you can't really store it like this like you can't really store it standing like this because it does like crease in so the pocket is heavier um, then the other side of the purse so the pocket always creases in and then if you leave your purse like this It's gonna basically mold like that, which is not cute So that's another con that I would say would just be the way that you store the purse um, It has to be very particular so you would have to basically just store it flat like this and make sure these straps on the sides over here are not bent or anything because again that could mold the purse into the way that it's uh, stored so like that. The next thing that I'm going to say is the pochette. So the pochette actually did tarnish on the sides here, if you guys can see. Um, it is losing the gold color. And I don't know if that's just from like using it too much. Um, regardless, it probably shouldn't do that. If you're spending over literally like close to $2,000 on a purse, this, sh this should not be happening at all. But I mean, I've worn this so often um so yeah that is kind of annoying because I mean that shouldn't be really be happening but whatever um and the next thing would be that this actually has not even like tarnished it's just the zipper that's really tarnished which is annoying um and I think also you guys can see there it's kind of peeling on the side here which is kind of annoying too um and here as well as you guys can see it's pretty peeled off so and the edges here as well so i mean all in all like the purse itself there isn't no there's like no peeling um to the purse at all like nowhere it's just the pochette that was kind of peeling and stuff so i mean it's not the end of the world but yeah um all in all do i recommend this purse i do considering you take into what i said about the cons um there aren't that many cons but you just got to be careful if you get the rose ballerine interior again just to be careful um maybe you can get like one of those organizers that um will basically shield your purse so even if you do spill something it'll go into the organizer and not your purse necessarily um i just don't like the way purse organizers feel on my purse just because i feel like they look boxy and i just don't like that so i don't have one and i take the risk of staining it which is not good um, but yeah, I definitely do recommend this purse. It is very stylish. Um, I feel like it goes with every outfit that you want to wear. And yeah, it just fits a lot. So now I'm just going to go into what comes with the purse. So what comes inside is this little like card and it's blank on the inside. And then it also comes with the ribbon that's wrapped around it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I do have unboxing of these purses and all my luxury goods. So I have them all on my Instagram if you want to go check me out. So yeah, my Instagram handle is Yelena Rasik XO. So if you guys want to follow me there, then please do. And it also comes with this envelope. So just open it for you guys. So it comes with this little slip. 
let me open my fiance actually did end up buying this for me for my uh for valentine's day so he wrote happy valentine's day baby which is so cute because i wanted this purse forever so he ended up buying it for me which i'm so grateful for thank you so much baby <laughs> and then it also comes with like exchange policies so um if you want to exchange it but don't need that also comes with a thank you card from louis vuitton for basically saying thank you for shopping with louis vuitton um and yeah i think that's super cute so yeah that's pretty much everything that comes inside with it um it also does come with a dust bag and i do um have little like paper in here so when i store my purse i keep the paper inside so it molds the purse um and keeps its shape so i always store my purse in this little dust bag that it comes with and yeah, yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope it helped those in deciding if they wanted to get the purse or not i definitely do recommend the purse i absolutely love it i've had it again for almost two years now and i love it it's just great it's just so much inside and yeah so if you guys did like this video then please like comment share and subscribe it would really really help me out and i'm going to be posting a lot more of my luxury goods and reviewing them on this channel so yeah if you guys like these type of videos then please 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 subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye